Hello everyone, it's Allegra, and today is our last day in our series about how the Holy Spirit empowers us. We are going to learn a Bible story from 2 Peter 1, and this story is one of the best Bible stories because we are going to learn about living like Jesus. That's right, all throughout the Bible, Jesus teaches us how to love, serve, and share the good news to others. Today, we're going to learn more about how we can live out this story for ourselves. But first, do you remember our big picture question? It says, how does the Holy Spirit help Christians? The Holy Spirit comforts us, shows us our sin, and guides us as we live for God's glory. This is so good. You see, God sent the Holy Spirit to help us live for His glory, to bring praise to His name. We're going to learn about our good friend Peter again. Do you remember who he was? He is one of Jesus' disciples. He was the leader in the church and wrote two letters to help other people who were following Jesus during hard times. When Jesus wrote his second letter, he was in prison. He had been arrested for following Jesus. Peter wrote, Jesus gives us everything we need. He gives us power to live for him. He is good and he promises us good things. Peter reminded the people in the church how they should try to live. Anyone who has faith in Jesus should also try to have these things. Goodness, knowledge, self-control, patience, and love. Let's say these words again. Goodness, knowledge, self-control, patience, and love. Well, let's see what else Peter encouraged other believers to do. He said, Jesus is honored when we live like him. Peter wanted the believers to remember what Jesus had done for them. Do you remember what he has done for us? Jesus came to rescue us from our sins. Because of Jesus, God invites us into his family and gives us life with him forever. Peter wrote, God has chosen you and given you his power so you can do everything and live like Jesus. Did you hear that? You are chosen and you have a purpose. Peter also wrote, you already know what I'm going to tell you. I want to keep reminding you as long as I am living so that you will remember even after I am gone. We are telling you and reminding you of the amazing Bible stories that we saw and we heard. Jesus lived a perfect life and died the death we deserve for our sin. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sins and changes our hearts. Jesus helps his followers live like him. Amazing! I love this Bible story. Let's stand up on our feet as we practice our memory verse together. His divine power has given us everything required for life and godliness. 2 Peter 1.3 Let's say that one more time together. His divine power has given us everything required for life and godliness. 2 Peter 1.3 Amazing job. Let's pray together. Here we go. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give them a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Fold them in your lap, lap, lap. Dear God, thank you for this Bible story. Help us to live out the story for ourselves. Thank you for the reminder of always loving others, of serving others, doing good, having self-control, and always hoping and trusting in you. We love you, and in your name, amen. Bye, everyone.